Hey guys, just wanted to go over a powerful scripture today in Hebrews chapter 5 verse 9. I'm going to go ahead and read verses 8 through 10, but I wanted to highlight verse 9 here. So, going to Hebrews chapter 5 verse 8. It says, Though he were a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. And being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all of them that obey him called the God of the high priest after the order of the Melchizedek so verse 9 being made perfect he became the author of eternal salvation unto all those who obey, obey him we know that Christ was made perfectly but he is the author of eternal salvation and the gift of God freely given is salvation all those who believe and call upon the name of the Lord if they believe in their heart that Jesus Christ died for their sins now give them and give them their sins and repent of their sins and call upon him and believe on him they will be saved and he was made perfect for eternal salvation and to all that obey him and the Lord Jesus he said if you love me you would obey my commandments and his command was to love the Lord God all of your mind all of your soul, all of your heart, and all your strength, and to love your neighbor as I have loved you. And how did he on love? We look at like how the perfect love that he has. He came down, died for the sins of the entire world, washed his neighbor's feet, put all those in front of in front of him, came to serve, showed people what their true meaning of life was. All he spoke was goodness, righteousness, pure life, but. He's exactly what the world needed. He's everything good. The world is a wicked. We're all wicked and fallen in a sinful fallen world. And he's everything good that came into it. So being made perfect, he's the author. He is the author of eternal salvation to all who obey him. And that's amazing. And a lot of people just don't understand that their life has meaning, it has purpose. God God loves us. A lot of people don't understand that God loves us and that it's what we do. We all sin and fall short of the glory of God. It's what our actions that has separated us from Him. He didn't separate from us. We separated from Him. But He's so loving, so caring that He came and got and did what He could to get us back. We just have to give in to Him and accept who we are and accept him and he will change our life but he's the author of eternal salvation in hebrews chapter 5 verse 9 is so powerful our lord jesus the author of eternal salvation so you know you serve the god of true life the god of true salvation and in him your life means something as purpose and it's protected and, and you're valued and he loves you and that's what's just so amazing you serve a god and he is the author of eternal salvation to all who obey him so it's all who give in to him and that's what separates Christ from, from every everybody else to all these other false fake gods is he died for everybody and he lets all, he calls all any man who comes to me um, and man's translated to woman so anybody can come to him he's the, he's the God of all, he's pure love and it's just so amazing and that offer still stands he's still reaching his hand out there's still time, we're running out of time but it's very little bit of time left you still have you can reach out you can know your creator you can know the one who predestined you who called you who has a purpose and a meaning for your life he's reaching his hand out he's the author of eternal salvation and through him you can have eternal salvation as well